상태 충내이장 메리콤 선수와 청코너 카자흐스탄의 셰커베코바 자이나 선수 여자 51 And she's one of the most famous women in the whole of India so that tells you uh, something about her if you go to Wikipedia, there are pages and pages about the lady known as Mary Kom. Her opponent today is from Kazakhstan. Less experienced, but uh, she does have uh, three straight wins to her credit without uh, having dropped a single round. But hope springs eternal here for India to uh, take a gold medal. In terms of boxing down the years, India are eighth in the Asian Games gold medal table. In boxing, they've won seven gold, 16 silver and 27 bronze. Here is the schedule for you. Beginning with this uh, flyweight contest, then uh, following on with the 57 to 60 kilogram lightweight, which is between women from Korea and China. But this one, uh, well, there you see, we call it Mary Com. Uh, the rest of the name really is uh, Chung Nai Jung Hemangte. We'll stick with Mary Com. And her opponent today, Jena Shekabakova from Kazakhstan. The uh, referee for this one, Kiras Sidi Hamadi from Algeria. Complete with black bow tie. So it's all very uh, official here as the crowd is still taking their seats in the gymnasium. Just a reminder for you, in case you didn't know, and uh, I hate teaching my granny to suck eggs, but uh, women's boxing consists of four rounds of two minutes duration. And the women, as opposed to the men these days, do wear headguards. Much controversy as to whether the men should revert to wearing headguards in boxing after so many cuts and disputed decisions. Here then, representing India, is Mary Com, 31 years of age. She's won world titles just about everywhere a bronze in the london olympic games two years ago world championship victories as long ago as 2002 in turkey and 2010 in barbados she is from manipur and she has her own boxing academy a wave to the indian delegation and here comes her opponent today jena shekabakova from kazakhstan ready to enter the arena and you must wonder what on earth goes through the minds of these women as they prepare to step into the ring as Shaka Bakova does now ninth at the Asian Games four years ago in Guangzhou she's three centimeters shorter than her opponent today but she has had notable victories against opponents from Mongolia Korea Democratic People's Republic and Japan we're looking there at the Kazakhstan competitor, coached by Viktor Nietzsche. That's the way Mary Com has progressed so far with those uh, victories, uh, quite routine ones really. Over opponents from Vietnam, China and Korea. Her opponent there, as you see, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. That's great consistency from Jena Shekabakova. The referee again is from Algeria. As we wait the, uh, the bell for the first of the day's three finals. So the winner of this one will receive the gold medal. The loser will receive the silver. And then the uh, boxers they beat in the semi-finals will both qualify for bronze medals. So the last instructions from uh, Mrs. Hamadi. Always interesting to see how the different opponents approach the fight. You would expect Mary Com to go out on an all out attack to try and unsettle her opponent, get off to a racing start. And you would expect the evasiveness to come from the K K K Kazakhstani.
Well, it's a bit of grappling which uh, the referee will have to step in on. And uh, a word for Shekabakova. But now the woman has uh, struck a blow in anger as yet. Now Shekabakova just trying to get forward. Southpaw style. We seem to have an increasing number of southpaws in both men's and women's boxing at the moment. And Sheka Bakova's not overawed, but the flailing fists there of her Mary Comp failed to make contact. It'll probably not be an easy one to score by the five judges we have here who are from Korea, Argentina, Poland, Morocco, and Finland. They may well favour the Indian, who's just slightly more adventurous and more quick on her feet. Inside the last ten seconds of the opening round. Well, Shaka Bakova's done reasonably well there. If you think the Indian is quick on her feet, it's partly because she's a former sprinter as well as a javelin thrower. We'll see where she gets the throws in boxing from, but uh, she's light on her feet as well. Shekabakova, ninth at the Asian Games in uh, Guangzhou, has improved consistently since, but it was Mary Com who got in the best combination in that first round. The judge has been quite impressed by the uh, girl from Kazakhstan. <laughs> the, uh, the seconds are, are not supposed to inform the boxers of the way the judging has gone, but uh, judges A, B, and C all went 10 9 in favour of Shaka Bakova. The lady in blue, remember. So Mary Combs got her hands full. She actually runs her own boxing academy in Impal in India. And gets up at 5.30 every morning and then spars at night as well. This time it's Mary Com that has a little lecture from the referee from Algeria. A real flurry of punches here. Not sure how many connected. But Mary Com is trying to take the fight back to Shekabakova. Halfway through the second round here in Sonhak. And if uh, Mary Camp thought she was going to have this all her own way, she has another thing coming. She seems to be smiling through the, uh, the get mouth guard. Her father hated it when she said she was going to become a boxer. He was furious and did everything he could to dissuade her, but she finally won the day. And she's won titles everywhere at the highest level. And now she does go after uh, Shaka Bakova. Now this is a more interesting round to score for the judges. Well, that was a good, a, a good round. Plenty of action for the spectators to enjoy. They're not cagey, these two. Certainly giving it their best shots. And they're pretty evenly matched at the moment, I would say. But on this occasion, two of the judges have gone for Mary Com, and one has gone for the uh, Kazakhstan lady. So Mary Com comes fighting back.
Well, there are five judges, but the scores of only three are taken into account. And the Korean judge and the, the Polish judge both went for Mary Com. The Argentinian judge went for her opponent, Jakubakova. Halfway through the contest. Fighting for medals for their countries, of course. It's India versus Kazakhstan as much as it is Mary Com against Shekhabakova. <laughs> well, right left combination from Mary Com. Trying to impose herself more on the fight, you feel now. And there's a, a good example of that. Good left hand to the side of Shekhabakova's head. And you can hear the chants of Mary, Mary. Known as Magnificent Mary. Just a little bit ungainly there. And when they're at close quarters like this, it's the uh, the palms that are striking and not real blows from the knuckles. So the referee steps in. 30 seconds to go in the penultimate round, and a, a good attempt at an attack there from Jenna Shekhabakova. She might just walk onto one. But at the moment, she's giving a very good account of herself in this third round. But she will have a talking to from the referee. Always you feel the third round is a vital one. And the aggression of Mary come there was for all to see. They touch gloves and know that there's one round to go to separate them between gold and silver. And uh, that was certainly better, and Mary Com has taken all three of uh, the judges' votes there by 10-9, and she sneaks ahead for the first time in the bout. But uh, she clearly did get on top in that round, and you feel that her experience is shining through now, and she certainly managed to impress all three judges. She swung them her way. And that was a crunching left hand to the side of the head. As we come up to the fourth and final round. A reminder, it's India in the red, Kazakhstan in the blue. The fourth and final round. And again, there's no doubt which side uh, most of the fans in the gymnasium are on. Lady in red. As Chris de Berg once said. And her husband on here and her three sons, including twins, will all be watching on very proud of mum here. She's actually had a film made about her with Priyanka Chopra playing the lead in a Bollywood movie about Mary Com. And uh, again, the referee has to step in, but that was a, a word with both boxers. Shekhabakova knows she has to do something special, I think, now. And swinging right arm there. We're halfway through the final round. But a very worthy uh, performance put up by Jaina Shekhabakova. Three metres, centimetres shorter than her opponent. But, uh, that's counted for a little in this fight, which has 30 seconds to run.
Well, again, they're standing toe to toe here. Well, that was good for the spectators, they enjoyed that. Fast and furious exchanges as we come towards the final bell in this flyweight competition. The first of the gold medals in the ladies, the women's event in boxing due to come, although there's a stumble there from Mary Com. The bell sounds, it's all over, and at the end of the fight, we look to the judges' scores. Shaka Bakova took the first round with uh, two judges to uh, one voting for her. The second round went to Mary Com. In fact, in the first round, it was 10-9, 10-9, 10-9 to the uh, Kazakhstan woman. Mary Com came fighting back, and then she impressed all three judges in the third round. Uh, the referee will call the two boxers to the centre of the ring after we look at that uh, terrific little flurry of activity to tell us who is going to be the gold medal winner in the women's flyweight category here in the Asian Games in Incheon. It is Mary Com. She adds another title, a gold medal to those that she's won. And uh, a gracious loser, Jaina Shekabakova, really performed well. But at the end of the day, in fact, uh, Mary Com took uh, every single one of the last six votes in the third and fourth rounds. The police officer from Manipur is delighted with the gold medal that she has brought home for India. The first for the women's boxers here in Incheon. And uh, there will be a medal presentation uh, later. But it was a brave performance put up by Jena Shakabakova.